Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California weather watch today is September 29th. And right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. And you can see the trough, it's on its way here. It's starting to make its uh, journey into Northern California as we speak. It's gonna settle down across the area, bring some gusty winds with it, some snow for the higher elevations, some hit and miss precipitation, nothing too heavy out there, but there could be some locally higher amounts, especially across some of the higher terrain. We'll dive into these details here in a moment. You can see Lake Tulare out there, right there. Kind of interesting looking on the ghost 18 satellite imagery. I think this smoke out here is prescribed burns. We're going to take a look at that map here towards the end of the video. You can see some of the marine layer in toward the valley area starting its burn off here as we go towards the later morning hours of Southern California, San Diego, Los Angeles, kind of socked in today with that marine layer also. And there's that initial cloud shield moving down over the state of California. So this is for National Weather Service Sacramento. Check it out. Kind of some hit, some hit and miss precipitation here. A lot of the valley area is generally less than a tenth of an inch. You can see the snow level is about 7,500 feet and above and you can see a higher terrain getting the best precipitation amounts heaviest on saturday this is the winter weather advisory check it out includes mammoth lakes out there also three to six inches above eighteen thousand feet locally higher amounts here so interesting stuff the first you know, not notable snowfall here across the higher terrain this year and it's only september 29th and this is looking at National Weather Service Hanford. Check it out, Tioga Pass got the upgrade to four to seven inches here. And you can see generally above 8,000 8, feet, the best accumulations should occur. Friday p.m. through Sunday p.m. This is the rapid wind increase this afternoon down the coast of California, Eureka, California, National Weather Service. You can see these winds pick up out of the northwest as you go through Friday night. And look at Saturday, some pretty strong, persistent winds here all the way down the coastline, starting to relax a bit here on Monday, but still quite strong and then relaxing even more as you go through Monday here. Now, looking this day in SoCal weather history, check it out. Some tropical storm activity from 1946, 1971 here, and even a brief tornado in Daggett there. So this is the time of year where we can get these remnants back up over the area, and we'll take a look at that and the extended forecast towards the end of video as well. Uh, if you want to save 10% off on a nice, affordable home weather station to record all this crazy weather we get here across the southwest USA and the west coast, go ahead and click on that link down below to save 10%. This is looking at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, so you can clearly see the system rolling down over California, nicely placed, chilly upper level low. You're really going to feel it in the temperatures and some of the gusty winds this storm creates and of course some snow for the higher terrain as I mentioned. We'll look at that in the weather models coming up. But then we got a ridge that's going to try to build here over the west coast of North America, including the Pacific Northwest. We'll take our eye, we'll start to look at this in some more detail here as we go through the next couple of days. This is looking at the NAMP 3KM, total precipitation in inches. And you can clearly see that precipitation coming down across the area. Look at that kind of the hit and miss aspect to it. And you can see across the higher terrain, even Southern California, got some pretty good amounts here showing up. One, two inches of precip for the higher terrain. I don't know how much of that's going to fall as snowfall. It doesn't look like much here across the area, but it will be kind of a chilly rain as this moves down across the region. And you can see Nevada getting bullseye here as well. Some in Northern California and the Sierra Nevada with some nice precipitation amounts coming in here. And generally light amounts along the coastal areas too, but some of the higher terrain could could get some better precip values. This is looking at total snow couture ratio in inches in the NAM 3 cam high resolution model. You can see where it's supposed to hit here, kind of central Sierra Nevada and some of Nevada here as well with some snow potential. But again, it kind of, you know, it's not a major snowstorm down at low elevations, generally 7,500 to 8,000 feet and above. Lightning flash density potential. This is the HERA high resolution model. This is the 12Z run that goes out 48 hours. You can see you do have a little bit of lightning potential across Northern California as you go through the day today. And as we go through Saturday as well, you might even get some thunder snow at the highest elevations here. You know, bonus points if you can catch that snowfall and some lightning and thunder out there across some of the Sierra Nevada. And you can see us scrolling all the way in through Saturday night here and the system continuing to spin over the area by Sunday morning. Here we're looking at that wind. So we got 80 meter wind speed here. Check out that wind increase here, northwest wind down the coast of California. And you can also see it pick up across the higher terrain of the Sierra Nevada, all the way down through Southern California, the higher terrain of Baja, Arizona, Nevada. You're definitely going to tell the drop in the temperatures here and the gusty wind's going to make it feel like an early taste of winter here all the way down across even some of the desert areas. You're definitely going to feel this temperature drop. We'll look at that here in a moment also. This is the accumulated, <clears throat> excuse me, 10 meter max wind gusts. And if we put that in 
into motion. You can see these big gusts coming down the coastline here. You know, some of that higher terrain along the immediate coast probably going to get some nice strong winds up over 40 miles per hour. Look at some of the higher terrains through Southern California. It could be gusting up over 50 miles per hour as well. Sierra Nevada, Nevada, Arizona, higher terrain, Northern Arizona, and a lot of Utah as well. Some pretty strong gusts incoming here with this deep upper level low dropping across the area. 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. Nice visual representation of what is to come. Check out this bowling ball just taking over the entire state of California here. Kind of crazy here watching this set up and then you can see it eventually start to kick off towards the end of the run or it starts movement towards the east at least as we go through Sunday afternoon shown there. And here we go with Sacramento International Airport. The control had over a tenth of an inch here, but you can kind of see the hit and miss nature, even in the ensemble runs there. The, and again, the control at about a tenth of an inch. And if we go ahead and look at Los Angeles, maybe a little bit of precept, generally less than about five hundredths of an inch, though expected for some of Southern California, Lake Tahoe. You can see better amounts there, up over two tenths of an inch, maybe three tenths of an inch. And some of this may be falling as snow just on the higher peaks. Sacramento, about a tenth of an inch here as well. Reno, a little bit more. Of course, Reno, much higher elevation. And here we go with Mammoth. And you can see maybe around an inch or so for Mammoth there. The elevation is about 8,500 feet here. So this might be underdoing it a little bit for some localized areas here across the central Sierra Nevada. Now, looking at apparent temperature on the National Blend of Models as we put this into motion, and I'll show you the 24-hour change here next. But you can see we warm up quite nicely here as we go through the day today. Some 80s for the valley out there. You know, you're Doing, still doing pretty good here across the deserts, but it is pretty comfortable. But look as you go into Saturday here. Look at the valley only getting it back up into the 60s here. This is apparent temperature as well. So if you've got lower relative humidities and some gusty winds, it's going to make it feel a little bit cooler. And you can see even Death Valley, you know, only probably getting up into, you know, maybe the 80s here as we go on through some of the weekend coming up. So yeah, you're definitely going to feel this chill. Look at the higher terrain of the Sierra Nevada and some of the northern portions and central portions of Nevada here. Quite cool. And you're going to feel it in the overnight lows here as well. Check it out. Vegas getting down into the 50s overnight, Sunday night into Monday morning. Now, this is looking at 24-hour, 2-meter temperature change. Put this into motion and look at these temperature change, 24-hour changes here. Some places 25-plus degrees cooler than the previous 24 hours. This will be Saturday afternoon shown here. And you can see this big change is going to come for portions of Utah and Arizona as well. A very chilly, low pressure system here. And it's going to feel very nice over some of the desert areas. For those of you looking for some cooler conditions after the very warm summer there across some of Arizona, 8 to 14 day temperature outlook starting to pick up on this ridging here along the west coast. And of course, it depends on just how this ridge sets up. You could be looking at some foggy valleys out there too as well, especially the further you go north towards the Pacific Northwest. 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook right now below normal here. But there's a little caveat to that here, and I'll show you that here starting now. This is yesterday afternoon. Here goes our trough on the European Extended. Ridge starts to nose into the Pacific Northwest and really builds along the West Coast here. And you've got a little bit of tropical shenanigans going on down here to the south of Baja. And the GFS has been showing that too as well. We'll be watching that and get another upper level low kind of dropping down off the coast here of California. And we're going to watch this thing here because it's that time of year where you can get these tropical systems and these remnants can quickly move back up over the southwest portion of the USA. So something to watch here on through the extended. Uh, you know, it's still fantasy right now, of course, but looking at the GFS, this is last night's run. There goes our trough. Ridge noses in. Ridge builds in even stronger across much of the Pacific Northwest and the West Coast. And you can see it's got a tropical system down here. There'll be a tropical storm and eventually a hurricane just off to the south of Baja. But we are looking a little ways out here. You know, we're 100 and 40 hours plus before this thing develops. So we'll be watching it here closely over the next couple of days, but you can see that thing, you know, it's not moving off to the west this time. These remnants here could, you know, I know it's showing it move off to the northeast here, but this could easily include California as you got another trough digging down across the Pacific Ocean here too. It can help steer it northward. But anyway, just something to watch and keep in the back of the mi your mind for now. And we'll just go ahead and make sure we look at that here over the next several days. Again, just fantasy. And we've got some prescribed burns out there. This is a prescribed burn map and you can see all these blue dots out there near Beardsley Lake. I'll zoom out where you can see where that is. So there are some prescribed birds going on out there. So there is some smoke and it's not great for the people in immediately in and around those fires. But 
it does help things out for future years when we get a worse fire season here across the Sierra Nevada. A lot of that fuel for those fires will be gone. And these green dots are also some prescribed burns out there across the region as well. So if you're wondering where that smoke is coming from across some of the central Sierra Nevada, it's because of those prescribed burns. And you can kind of see that smoke floating around there. Again, not pleasant for the people in the immediate vicinity here, but it does help out when the big fire seasons do arrive. So anyway, yeah, I um, hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe. We're going to watch that ridge build up here. We're going to keep our eye on that tropical development there down south of Baja and see if that has any chance of impacting the Southwest USA. Um, again, thanks to all my channel members here. I know I don't see it that often, but you guys are what make this channel possible. You, you really help support the channel. And just viewing these videos really helps out and makes it worth my while to do these. You know, I, I, I honestly, I'm enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would at first. I've been going on almost two years now of doing these videos on a regular basis, and I hope to continue to do so over the next few years. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy the journey with me. Um, yeah, we'll do this again tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys then.